Hi everyone, my name is Smithuti Agastyan and welcome to the lecture series on Control of Power Electronic Converters. In this series, we discuss the modeling and analysis of power electronic converters and also the design of various control schemes for the converters. We discuss both the classical and modern control approaches in which the more focus is given to the modern control approaches which are based on state space models. In this first lecture, we give a brief introduction to the power electronic converters and its control. Here is the overview. We start with a brief introduction to the converter control system and its basic components. Then we briefly discuss the modeling and control of power converters. Power electronics is a branch of electrical engineering which deals with the use of power semiconductor devices for converting electrical power from one form to another. In general, the electrical energy is generated, transferred and consumed in two forms. The direct current or DC for which the current and voltage will be like this in ideal case and the alternative current or AC for which the current and voltage will be like this in ideal case. The electrical energy is transferred as a combination of electric current and electric potential which we also call as the voltage. And the electric power or the rate of transfer of electric energy equals the product of current and voltage. In power electronics, we control either the current or voltage or both for converting the power. So in power conversion, we basically convert the electrical power from DC to AC or AC to DC. And similarly, we can also have DC to DC conversion in which we convert DC power from one level to a different level. And also we can have AC to AC conversion. For efficient conversion of electrical power, the power semiconductor devices are usually used as switches. So the power electronic converter is also known as switching power converter. We will also call it as power converter or simply as converter. In power converter, a desired output power is obtained by controlling the switch position. Where the switch can take two positions which are either on or off. And for controlling the switch position, we use various control schemes in which the objective is to achieve a desired transient and steady state behavior of the power converter. In this lecture series, we will be mainly focusing on the design of these control schemes for power converters. In general, a power electronic converter control system, which we call as converter control system, consists of a power electronic converter associated with a feedback control system for controlling the output of the converter. The major components of the converter control system are power electronic converter, controller, sensor and modulator. Figure 2 shows the block diagram of a converter control system which shows its components. Here the converter, sensor and modulator are grouped together which we call as the system. The modulator and the estimator are optional and depends on the control scheme that we are using. The modulators are usually required with the classical control approaches whereas the estimators are required in the case of modern control schemes. The physical variables of the system that are measured using the sensor is called as the output. And the minimal set of variables of the system that capture its entire dynamics is called its states. The outputs are usually a subset of the states or it can be a function of the states. And in feedback control system, we use either the output or the state as the feedback. And the reference will specify the desired value of the output or state. Then the controller uses the reference and feedback information for computing the control input for the system. Next we discuss each of these components in detail. We start with the power electronic converter for which the basic block diagram is given in figure 3. Here based on the source and load, the converter can be either DC to DC or DC to AC or AC to DC or AC to AC. And here the basic task of power converter is to convert the electrical power according to the load requirement. We have power is equal to voltage into current. So the input power will be the input voltage into input current. Similarly, the output power will be the output voltage times output current. So in order to control the output power, we can either control the output voltage or the output current. So in power converter, we will either control the voltage or current in order to convert the power. 
the converter circuit consists of semiconductor devices such as diode transistor thyristor etc and passing circuit elements such as a system capacitor and inductor and electric sources and loads in the general the electric sources and loads are something which we connect externally to the converter circuit but we consider them as an integral part of the converter and will be included in the modeling and analysis of power converters next we move on to the controller which basically computes the control input for the converter that adjusts the switch position so the controller will be some kind of an equation or an algorithm which basically computes the control input using the feedback and reference information based on the type of implementation controllers can be classified as analog controller in which the control algorithm is implemented in an analog circuit such as passive electric circuit operational amplifier circuit etc and digital controller in which the controller algorithm is implemented in a digital circuit such as a microcontroller or a digital computer etc sensors are used for measuring the dynamic variables of the converter which are usually the voltage across the capacitor and current through the inductor the variables that are measured using the sensors are called as the outputs and the minimal set of variables that capture the entire dynamics of the system are called as the states in general the outputs will be a subset of the states or it can be a function of the states measuring all of the states using sensors is usually impractical since it leads to increased cost of implementation therefore estimators are used for estimating the complete set of states from the measured variables the modulators are used for obtaining the switching pulse signal from the control input signal the switching pulse signal is used for driving the switch position so here one will be corresponding to the on state of the switch and zero will be corresponding to the off state of the switch whereas the output of the controller will be usually like this which will be a continuous signal and we use the modulator circuit for converting this control input signal to a switching pulse signal and the modulators are usually not required for many of the modern controllers since it can directly gives the switching pulse signal and the basic types of modulators are the pulse width modulator in which the width of the switching pulse signal is varied as per the value of the input signal and the pulse frequency modulator in which the frequency of the pulse signal is varied as per the value of the input signal next we move on to the modeling of the power converter a model or a mathematical model is basically a set of mathematical equations that capture the dynamics of the system in general mathematical models are used for analysis of converter and design of control schemes and for representing the dynamics of the converter the following models are used which are the switched system model which is in the form of a switched affine system and the state space average model which is in the form of a nonlinear state equation and the linear regression model which is in the form of a linear state equation or transfer function these different models can offer different ranges of complexity and accuracy in terms of representation for example the linear regression model is the simplest among these three in terms of complexity whereas the accuracy of the model is the least and the switched system model is the complex one with the best accuracy in the next few lectures we will be discussing the modeling of the power converters in which we discuss each of these three models in detail and its derivation next we move on to the control of power converters and in general the basic requirements of the control design are faster transient performance lesser or acceptable steady state error and stability and some of the popular control schemes used for control of power converters are the proportional integral derivative or the pad control the linear quadratic regulator or the lqr control the sliding mode control or the smc the model predictive control or the mpc among these the pad controller comes under the classical control approaches and it uses the frequency domain model or the transfer function for the controller design and the rest three are modern control approaches which are based on state space models in the last 5 6 lectures of this series we will be focusing on the design and simulation of these control schemes for power converters for which the matlab course for the simulation will be provided 
that completes this lecture thanks for listening